first Brazilian to win a World Championship. That moment on stage. It was, yeah. Um, it would be special any other year, really, that I played that. And uh, it, I got really close against Ron Mullicum two years ago. But it was even more special this year because I went to some really dark places. We talked already, and uh, I said how um, struggling I was mentally. And um, I thought about, about quitting the arts. I didn't even supposed to play here, you know, it was just an invitation. Which I'm really glad from the from the BDC. I really appreciate it. But um, I really want to darts. I really want to make darts big in, in South America, in Brazil mainly, but South America as well. And uh, I think this win could could mean something there, really. It's been a long journey for you to win your first game for the Nobel World Championship, hasn't it? It's been a difficult journey. It has really. I think I would get in my second attempt against uh, Ron Mullicum. I'm not not saying against Peter Wright because first first year I was really nervous and I, I still managed to get a, a, a set of him. But when I opened the first two sets against um, Ron Mullicum, I thought I would take it and he just brought his A plus game and nothing could do it really. But uh, when I when I got two sets ahead of Steve now, I'm just thinking, Q in the next set. Don't don't let him get any anywhere near you. And um, I think I did quite well there. Yeah, really. We saw the emotion pour out of you at the end. How did you manage to keep it in check throughout that match? I didn't. <laughs> uh, I was so nervous, thinking about everything. I was thinking that my first win would get closer and closer when it. When I went two new up in the second set, I think I was two new up, yeah. Uh, and then he got a set, uh, he got a leg. I was just like, okay, that's your leg. Just keep going and take take your chances. And he only needed one more of that, really. Uh, I, it's it's a win for myself, you know. Everyone like thanks everyone else, but what I've been through this year, I I don't wish for my worst enemy. You know, it was. It was bad. Really went to dark places in my head, and uh, it was just to prove how how strong I am, really. And uh, I think I did quite well. What have you been through that's been nearly jeopardised your chances of doing something special, something magical? Oh, it was just too much. You know, I just I had my uh, first kid, my daughter Diana. And uh, she was born with some condition in her in the stomach, and she had to go through surgery. And um, the the hospital didn't accept like both of the parents was just one and another. Well, my wife Ariana had to feed her, but she couldn't carry her, so it was a nightmare. And um, after that, Ariana had a post post birth depression as well. And I had to handle everything, and when everything was finished, kind of hit me. You know, I was thinking about killing myself and everything else. And uh, to come over in only two or three months and win my first game on the stage, what can I say? I know. Yeah, of course. It just proved to myself how strong I am to to reach hot bottom and uh, to come come over and be Steve Beaton, that one of the best players ever, you know, world champion, being the top three two of the BDC for the last twenty years. If I can be him, what I can't be others. Cheers, man. Sorry, guys. I need to apologize. Need a minute here, bro. Cheers, man. It's coming too for you. <laughs> Right, just a moment, mate. Do you want a minute? Yeah, go on. Okay, guys.
Diogo, you obviously just talked about it there. I won't ask you to go over it again, but is this the light at the end of the tunnel now? Can you now see how much this means to you? And is say, is this the, the recovery? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that's what I needed, you know, because I've been like I've been playing well for the, you know the first two or three years that I've been in the PDC, even not having the two card. I managed to win Challenge 2 and keep myself in the Pro 2, so I did well in the, in the Q school two years ago. And, um, you know, and I just couldn't get a wing. I just didn't win, I just didn't run uh, under my belt. And to keep losing 6-5, 6-5, 6-4, 6-5, just one break of through, it was a nightmare for me. Um, I've been out of, I've been out of, to be honest, I, I didn't get my tool card for one point in the year that I went to, uh, European tour and because one double in the year before that and these two years I didn't go to the UK Open on a comeback you know on the time they they had a uh, UK Open qualifiers and that really hurt me you know because I was nearly there but not making it you know and and I was just getting disappointed because I knew it was good I knew I was playing well we're just not getting the results on the Mumba belt and Days days result was, you know, top of everything. I think that's why I play darts is to get moments like that, really. And uh, I should put in my mind, and that was just to prove myself how good I am, and uh, and I can do it over and over again. In a year that mental health has been talked about so much and such an importance, what you just said there, can you be a role model for these youngsters that are struggling as well, and they can look at you and? how dark you've been to come out the other side and they can draw the same strength from you? You know what? Uh, I think I was playing models online and um, and I had a, a bad day. I think I went I went to the hospital to stay with my daughter and I was awake all day, all night and uh, come back just to play models because my wife had a cut in, the, in her salary so I had to do that. To, to try to compensate the, the, the money we, we've been losing. And um, on that day, uh, I finished the day, I messaged my manager and said, you know, I quit. And uh, I was not talking about my, my darts. And uh, uh, and uh, at the same time, I messaged Alan Warner and I said, mate, I need help, and uh, Alan introduced me to Sporting Chance, and I've been in therapy for two or three months, and they helped me a lot. So I I wish I I had open open up uh, before, you know, maybe a month before that when everything was was happening to me. I just I just want to tell everyone that the sooner you open up the better it is you know don't don't be afraid really don't be afraid to 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 open up to anyone look for a specialist you know and uh, and believe them because what they did to me was was amazing